being comfortable is what got you in this position right now. As human beings, we try so hard to regulate ourselves in the place that is maybe not always the most comfortable for us, but it's something that we can predict. And in that place of normalcy, even if it's not the best type of normalcy for us, we oftentimes have this tendency to choose the toxic things. Now being too comfortable, being too complacent and not having enough irritation and challenge to get you uncomfortable enough to pull you up and out of that situation can put you in a bigger pickle than you may have found yourself in now. So if you're in the season right now, and I feel like someone is because it's this has been something that's been coming up in my meditation. If you're someone who is in a season right now of incredible change, transition, transformation, it can be exhausting spiritually, mentally, most emotionally, physically, but instead of racing into the next season, instead of racing into the next stage and phase of your life, go ahead and labor in this moment. As uncomfortable as it is, as soul crushing as it is, as so much of you, your identity, what you believe about yourself is being broken down and shape shifted into something else, really what's happening is you're breaking yourself free from these past patterns that you have gotten too comfortable with that you have grown too accustomed with your angels your guides the ancestor the universe all of these things the divine are working to turn you into a better person especially if you're someone who has invited in divine wisdom if you're someone who is working to better yourself to become the greatest and highest version of yourself there's no way shape or form that any of these beings of light and love that look after you would allow you to stay in a place that is going to suppress you and hold you back your growth your evolution in any way shape or form so although this is uncomfortable right now it's it's important it's imperative it's essential for you to labor through this because this is the moment even though you want to race out of it even though you want to dodge and jump out of that this is the moment where through the laboring, through the growing process, you will never, ever, ever be the same. Now, if you jumped, if you told yourself, right, if you made a promise to yourself, okay, no, I've lived, I've learned, I've learned my lesson, I'm never gonna repeat this pattern, I'm never gonna repeat the past. The truth is, is that without the pain and the, and the shaping of this moment, the truth is, is that as a human, it is inevitable for you to repeat that same pattern. It is inevitable for you to find yourself walking down that same path. Why? Because it's normal and it's what you are subconsciously choosing. This is not even something that we are aware of. Remember, it's subconscious. It's what we are not conscious of. So through this moment, it's so important, it's so imperative that you breathe through this laborious moment, that you breathe through how the divine is shaping you and that you're open to the shaping and you're not trying to rush through the shaping and you're not trying to rush through the pain and you're not trying to rush through the difficulty because if it wasn't for this, I guarantee you, and I really feel this deep, 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 deep in my spirit, the divine is showing and, and revealing to you that you would continue to repeat this pattern. Now, for some of you guys, the pain of this moment feels so great that you are okay surrendering to the weight of the, the weight of the moment that you would be okay accepting the situation and succumbing to it but this is where your angels your guides your ancestors the divine steps forward and says this is why i need you to rely on me this is where i need you to allow me in to embrace you so that i can pick you up and carry you out of this because i care about you unconditional unconditionally you are my chosen one you are a prize to me you are a gift to the world and no one gets left behind in this not you not them not they no one gets left behind but i need your free will i need you to want this as much as i want this for you think about the friends the people in your life that you watch them go through difficult things that you know that they deserve so much better but you can't single-handedly change the situation for them they have to want it for themselves that's what the angels the guides your ancestors the divine wants for you you have to want it more for yourself so that you are receptive to being molded into the person that you are now becoming it's already happening this is why it's so difficult this is why it's so painful because Parts of your ego are breaking. Parts of your past patterns are being shattered right now. Parts of the things that you 
find safety in and sanctuary in are things that have been a violation to you that are not acceptable for you that you have outgrown in some in some way you may feel loneliness you may feel isolated to the point where it can be soul crushing and crippling but go through that it's not going to be forever the person that it is that you need to be that you are evolving into it will take time this is not something no matter how uncomfortable no matter how difficult this is not something to rush to move past, to blast by. It's something to sit within knowing fully well that you are capable, you have the skill set, although you may not believe it, to go through this growth, to grow through this reemergence, to go to go through and grow through, grow through this rebirthing process. I want to tell you <coughs> Oh my goodness, that sneeze came out of nowhere. I want to tell you that if you're open to it, you can always, 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 always in any moment reach out to your angels and your guides, reach out to a friend and ask for their support. Make sure that that place is pure. Make sure that it's coming from a good place that they genuinely, when, when they say that they will pray for you, when they say that they will speak life into you, when they say that they'll set intention for you, that they actually will do it because that energy, that spiritual energy, it makes a difference. If you guys need that right now, let me know down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna put a candle now burning on my altar, setting intention for the strength, for the courage, for the conviction, for the faith, for the fortitude, for you. Again, across the board, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, all of those aspects to carry you forward if you're going through a difficult time. I want to tell you too that this is not a time to ask for relief all the time because again, that relief can be troublesome. That relief can be tricky. Relief for you or how you may articulate, how, we, how you may perceive relief is the very thing that you need to be walking away from. So to set intention and to call back in relief sometimes into this moment it can be tough and you want to make sure that you are staying steadfast in your journey that you are as as open to again the growing pains of this more than trying to ease yourself out of it for some of you guys you've been in it for a year and some change or this might have been longer but it's getting intense over the years astrologically as an astrologer i believe very much in the timing of you know what's happening in the cosmos you know it's always given me an answer for a lot of things that are happening timing wise and how long it will take so there's explanations for that but if you look at it in the bigger picture it's just the timing of your life it's a season of your life um it just sometimes it takes time and i know that if you're in it a year can feel like forever five years can feel feel like a lifetime but in the grand scheme of things if it's shaping you for the remainder of your life to be something more, the more evolved, advanced aspect of yourself and who your life, like who your life will shift and change or how you've been using your, maybe sometimes it's not so much how you're gonna give to others, but the time that is that you spend here on earth, the how you spend your time here on earth. For so many of us, without this season of rebirth and awakening, we, we wouldn't realize how much time we would have wasted until it's too late and we can't get that time back. So as difficult as it is, try to be open to the process. Try to be open to the journey. Be patient with yourself and always ask the divine for insight, for wisdom, for strength, for discernment, for courage, for strength to see you through as you are developing, as you are growing, as you are blossoming, as you are blooming, as you are shifting, as you are separating yourself from the ego, from these patterns, from these lifestyles for this comfort zone and know that in all of this, it's going to be worth it. You will make it through. It will be worth it. It's sooner than you think, but we don't wanna to rush to get to the outcome, so. Happy Friday to every single one of you guys. I'm sending you all of my love. Again, if you need a little extra prayer, support, intentions, just go ahead and put it down in the, in the comments. You guys, I've been really, I've slowed down a lot. I'm sure you guys know this with my work and in a good way, not a weird way, but just really slowing down 
um, my pace and it has made it so that I'm apt more able to enjoy and catch up with you in the comments and all those other things. I'm just so grateful. So um, I'll see you guys down in the comments. I'm wishing you nothing but the best and I'm sending you strength <laughs> and clarity along your journey right now. And may the decisions that you need to make, let them be clear, let them be obvious, and may you be capable and strong enough to make them those wise choices and decisions that are healthy and for your highest and greatest good. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.